Hello. Welcome to Ariel's Bookshelf. I'm Ariel Roshi. And today I'm going to be reviewing I Funny Answers by James Patterson. And so the big basic summary of this book is when this guy named Jamie Grimm, who by the way is totally not Grimm, he's actually really, 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 really funny. He's like the funniest guy on the planet Earth because he went to a contest. And if my dad was listening to this, he'd be waiting behind the camera. He'd be like, no, I'm the funniest person. This is a book, Mr. Dad. This is a book. All right, this is a book. I can flip the pages. Can I do that to a person? No, I cannot. So, Mr. Mr. Dad. Okay, so back to this review. Jamie is a kid on a wheelchair because his legs do not move. It's just like having sleep paralysis with your leg all day. And he lives with his aunt and uncle and really, really annoying cousin that is also the school bully, unfortunately, by a chance. And two kids that they barely mention. So then what happens is that he also spends a lot of time with his uncle, Frank. His uncle is, Frank is like his whole life, and it's like his little diary. And without his diary, like a physical therapist, but not really a physical therapist. Like, it is literally his life. Because Uncle Frankie, he listens to every single thing that Jamie has to say, every single word he has to say, every single idea he has, if he will get him in trouble or not. Uncle Frankie basically has the idea of what he's going through. And so what happens is that Jamie is really, really funny. He helps his uncle at the this restaurant that his uncle owns. And the restaurant is something like grab and go near the sea or something. And so then what happens is that Jamie helps out behind the cash register taking in the products and whichever first like comedian they like if you get to get and go by the sea or whatever you better come with the name of a comedian that you like the jokes of the best because he will give you that if you want it out of a plain joke book he'll give you that too he's because when he was in the hospital getting his wheelchair and stuff and for like i think 10 years no not definitely not 10 years maybe like two years or a year, or a month, I have no clue. He was reading up on these funny books, funny joke books, he, we went through over like 2,000 videos, and like 10,000 different comedians, and like a bunch of joke, joke books, like this much times 14,000. So I might be exaggerating a bit, but still he did, he did, get a lot of funny joke books. And he makes his own material. Meaning, not as in suing his own clothes, but as in making up his own jokes. Nothing from a joke book, nothing where he got the idea from. He doesn't steal lines. He's like an original comedian. Jamie Grimm, the comedian. The really grim part doesn't make sense with him, but that's actually a pretty funny name. Because grim means like upset or sad or never smiling, which is exactly what his aunt and uncle, family that he lives with, resembles. Never smile. If, if he tells you a joke like, you know, every single morning, all the people that walk through the streets early up, when I wake up, they all look like zombies. So do zombies eat donuts with their fingers? Doesn't make real sense and they're like, we don't get it. Stone face barely moved their mouth. And so the book is about how Jamie gets into this contest where you, it's a Planet Funniest Kid contest. So it is about how Jamie can compete with other kids who create their own material, get it from other people or steal it. Either way, in this one, it's just about who gets to the bus with finales. And I think that you don't want to read this because here, over here, what you won't do is just sit back, relax, get a bag of popcorn or two, maybe a soda, 
or just sit, relax, and get ready to bust your gut. First time I read it, I had to, once I got over like the half the book, I had to ask my mom what was going on with my body because I was barely breath breathing. I was laughing so hard. That is an experience I will never forget. The funniness and the never ever breathing again. You're not. I learned that sometimes being funny or having your own jokes is better than stealing it from someone else. And I'm gonna read out some of this material too. It says, um, hi, I school camp. The other day at school, we had this substitute teacher, very tough, sort of like Mrs. Darth Vader, had heavy breathing, a deep voice. During roll call, call, she said, are you chewing gum, young man? And I, and I said, no, I'm Jamie Grimm. Which actually, <laughs> I even funnier, a middle school story. I funnier, doesn't make any sense, so they added a little even in there. It shows Jamie almost on his way to becoming a super superstar. Or will he just die on stage? I mean, seriously, he's choking up there. He's choking. Well, that's for you to read and you to find out. What if this isn't even the last book? What if there's another book about it? What if they don't want us to see the finals? What if he just didn't get into the finals? What if the next book is about his plain old boring life? What if there isn't a next book? Hey, well, if you read this book, if you go to the library, if you check this series out, that's what you'd read. And you will find out because I who better do this unless you don't want to know. He's just super, super, super funny. There was this little bit he did, and this this funny thing. It says that there was a boy who came from Maine who actually dressed up as a monkey with symbols and told insult jokes. And he keeps on saying, you want some of me? So, this is a bit that I want to show you. He says, check it out, and he's holding up the handicap, playing the card for the handicapped way of the parking lot. It's, he's saying, I mean, how does that little skinny pencil, little pencil neck even support the guy's bowling ball head? Actually, it looks like one of the plastic pinhead people you stick in your plastic car when you play the game of life, except his arms come out of his stomach. How handicapped is this dude? And how do we know it's not a sign designated for people squatting on beanbag chairs? <laughs> it's so funny. It's about how he gets into the next few rounds of the planet's funniest comic kids stand-up comic show. But the thing is, Jamie never stands up. He's always sitting down. And so in this book, I really hope he gets to the finals. In this book, he's in like level one or two or maybe three. But I don't care which level he is in. The level that he's on is he's even funnier than usual. I funny a middle school story. So the basic summary of this book is when Jamie Grimm finds out that it is t the TV show he was promised was not just an option. It was an advance, meaning all the, the billion thousand dollars that he spent like the hundred billion the billion dollars that he spent for his aunt and uncle's house that got washed away in the hurricane and his uncle frankie's dinner would all get away it would all be like just gone because without jamie doing a hit of a tv show they're gonna take all his money back which is totally not fair so then what happens is that when he signs a contract that legally binds him, well, let's just say that Jamie Grimm does not get his way. Everyone thinks things are funny, but he thinks it's not funny. And they definitely don't think he's funny. So then, is this TV show really what it's up to be? Well, that's what he's thinking. But then when an unexpected twist comes, and an even more unexpected twist, this is just like, this is like a game. Most games have paths, like in Candyland or the Game of Life. This one is a very twisty turning one with lots of turns. And Jamie took the one, the good ones and the bad ones. So let's just say that in the end, Jamie was his show a blast. Did all his money go away? Well, that's for you to read and you to find out.
So then the lesson for this book is, so then I learned that, I learned that laughter is the best medicine. And with that, I'll see you later.